Okay, in this problem, given the density of 1.769 grams per ml and a sulfuric uh, acid mole fraction of 0 0.500, find the mass percent molality and molarity. So if we're going to look at this one, we can have an assumption that there's a one-to-one -one mole ratio between the sulfuric acid and water. Because if you're going to see it, that's what, 0.5 mole of H2O4 over 0.5 mole of it and 0.5 mole of water. Now, having that assumption, what we can do, we can get the mass percentage by getting the mass of sulfuric acid and the mass of what we call the water. So you have 0.5 multiplied with 98.78. So this is just your, uh, what we call molar mass. So you will get around what, 49.04. Uh, and then here you will have 0.5 moles times 18.01. 5 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of water. So if we're going to do it, this is grams, this is moles, moles, grams per mole. Okay, so you have here around 9.00 grams. Okay, so if you're going to have that, uh, what we call mass, so we can get the mass percentage of sulfuric acid. That's just 49.0. Uh, 4 over, okay, 49.04 plus 9 times 100. And if you're going to do that, you're going to get around what? 84.5%. And to get the percentage of water, it's just 100 minus 84.5%. So you will have here around 15. So there's 84, 15.5%. So that's the mass percentage of water. Now, if we're going to determine the molality, so molality is just equals to what? Moles of solute over kilogram solvent. So from here, we already have the moles of solute given as what, 0 0.50 moles. And all we need to do is convert, okay, the nine grams that we have here into kilograms. So for every one kilogram, we have a thousand grams. So if you have that, okay, so 0 0.5 divided by 0, 0, 0.09. So you will get around what? 55.6 molar. Okay. Now, if we're going to determine the molarity, so molarity is just equals to what? Mole solute over liter solvent. So if we're going to look at this, okay we can get the mass of the solution. So mass of the solution is just equals to 49.04 plus nine. So that will give us equals to what? 49 plus uh, 04, around 58.04, am I right? Now we have here the density, so we can get the volume. So volume is just equals to what? 58.04 grams. Uh, so for every one ml, you have 1.769 grams. So if you're going to do it this way, you cancel out the ml. So 58.04 times uh, or divided by 1.769. So you have here around 32.81. ml and you're going to multiply it with one liter over a thousand ml so you will have here 
0.03281 liter. So you have the 0.5 moles divided by 0 0.0321 3281 liters. So that will give you around 15.24 or 15.2 molar. So this is the answer that you're looking for. Okay.